This video is going to be changing fuel lines in a small two cycle engine. They're, most of them are going to be pretty much the same procedure. I did a carburetor clean on this on a different video and I'll put that, uh, that up uh, on the, um, at the end of the, of the video. It'll be on the screen there. And um, anyway, I couldn't get these fuel lines off of it. They were stuck, and uh, and I broke them trying to get them off. So I got to replace them. And we're gonna go through that on this uh, video. And let's see if we can see inside the tank there what we're dealing with. see the in there they so got to have pliers and stuff like this different kinds of long needle nose pliers different sizes different shapes you never know which one you're going to use I got some little miniature miniature ones here that uh, I don't know how I'd live without those I don't need this tool anymore get those out of my way so First thing I gotta do is, is reach in here with the pliers and get this this one out of here. Now this one fell off. This is the filter, and as you can see, it, it's got a little thing on there to plug in to this. Well, it fell off already. So how are we going to get that in there? Well, we're just going to have to pull it out, and then we're going to have to thread one in there, a long one, all the way in, a new one and then pull it back out so anyway we're gonna go ahead and just pull this start twisting it and pulling it out of there and I'm holding the camera with my hand let me put it on the tripod Okay, that one came out. Now this is obviously the one that goes to the uh, fuel filter, the pickup tube. Because this little piece right here is still on the other one. It's on this one. So I'm going to leave that one in there for the moment because I don't do this every day. I'm just a dumb truck driver. But uh, I like to fix my own stuff so I do videos on it. Um, we're gonna uh, see if I got any fuel line this size first and then we'll do this back one first and put this in there. I found some fuel line. That's that size. It took me a while but I got a bag here, an assortment of uh, primer bulbs and fuel line sizes and uh, just cut off what I need to size push it on here first and and make sure that that fits good and it does and then uh, I can use a wire cutter but a knife is the best way to do it I gotta find a um, something to cut on because I, I can't I don't want to cut on this concrete Gotta cut this at a real sharp, kind of like what it looks like on a, a needle on a syringe. Real sharp, long, skinny angle. Guess what? I gotta go find the new blade.
Now that's an unused blade. I don't know what my problem is. Anyway, I'll get that cut. Okay, I can't cut it with these blades there. It's unused, but it's old. And um, I guess the edge is just faded away by being old. So I clipped it off with a wire cutter at that long, sharp angle like that. And that's how you get that inside. All right, I'm going to spray a little WD on this or any kind of oil, anything handy that doesn't dry up real fast. Push that down in that hole and then uh, take pliers like this and push it down in there. To keep working it till you get it in there. And then you got to reach in, inside here and find it. Got to reach inside here and find it and pull it back out. So first, I think I'm going to uh, get this one out of there because it's right in front of me. Okay, I got a hold of it and I'm pulling it on in there and it's stretching as it stretches it gets smaller going through the hole that's why it's hard to push it in because it wants to get bigger going through the hole when you push it in I'm going to pull enough of this through Put a little more spray on that. Helps get it in there. We'll pull enough of that through to get it out outside here so I can put uh, Make sure you get that on there as tight as you can. And then this. I'm not putting this back on there. I'm just going to leave it like it is. I mean this little, little piece like this. I'm not going to use those. I'm just going to shove that down in there. I gotta get that flipped around to the other side because that's gotta lay flat on the bottom of the tank. And then we're gonna do the same thing with this one. So this is just the return. This is your line going up into the carburetor or into your um, bulb here, primer bulb. And then this is the return that goes back into the tank once the primer bulb is full and the carburetor is already primed. So let's pull, pull this one out and do the same thing. We'll put a little spot of spray on it. It'll help get it out of there a little bit easier. Okay, then we'll cut a piece of this off and uh, Get it at the right length. We'll just copy this length here and then uh, cut it off like that. And 
and then we'll, we'll cut that sharp angle on here so that we can shove it down in the hole. Spray a little oil on that. Try to work that down in the hole there a little bit. I can't even see it coming through. I'm gonna try to bite it with this. If not, maybe this one will get it. It's got a sharper point on it. Now I'm just grabbing in the dark here because I can't even see it. Can't get it in there far enough to see it. So I'm gonna keep doing that till I get a hold of it and pull it through. I got it in there and uh, these pliers I used I think I used all three of them I don't remember if I used this one or not the straight one but this one and this one I used this to get barely get the tip of it start pulling it through and once I got it through a little bit then I was able to get a hold of it with this one and uh, and that one pulled it on through for me so You can see we got those uh, those in there now. I'm trying to see what I'm doing with the camera here. I'm sorry I can't. So I got that in there, and uh, now I'm going to cut that to length, and then put the carburetor back on. Now we can go on ahead and hit this primer and watch what it does. Primer bulb. See it's going to come up that tube and then squirt out this one and then your primer bulb will be full of gas. Not getting enough. Okay, what I did wrong was I left this, it's working now, but I left this a little bit too long. And it came in here and then curled back up this way and it was sucking air. So I gotta I gotta cut some some uh, some line off of this. Okay, I got that. I cut about an inch off of it. And let me see if we can push this back down in there and uh, get that to lay more flat on the bottom. There's very little gas in here, just enough to start it up and run it. And um, let's see now. Oh, yeah, the primer's working good now. Okay, now I think we're done with that. We'll go ahead and finish putting it together.
filter is kind of dirty. I'm going to go ahead and wash that. I cleaned that up with some dish soap and water and dried it out in the sun for a little while and then I took me a little break. I'm hoping this thing is ready to do its thing and take it outside and start it up. Now I did not fine tune this carburetor because I haven't started it up since I cleaned it just now. So um, see what happens. Give it some choke. It is a warm day. Uh, it's, a, it's the beginning of spring right now. We're still in the early part of April, but we're having an unusually warm day today. It's like it's going to be around 80 today, I think. So anyway, um, going ahead and it should be primed. Hit, give it some joke. Let's see what it does here. it's not warmed up yet so I can't give it take the chill completely off and expect it to run good it could probably still use a little fine tuning on the carburetor that'd be a different video well I think what I forgot to say in the beginning of the video I don't remember if I said it or not so I might be repeating this, but it took quite a few pulls to get this thing to run at all, and then it would only stay running on half choke once it finally started up. You start pushing the choke off, and it started cutting out, and it would quit. So I kind of had a suspicion that that little screen was clogged up, and I'm pretty sure that's all it was. And generally, on the beginning of, uh, well, that was on cleaning the carburetor. Let's see, this video was... Um, was uh, changing those fuel lines so anyway yeah look at the other video um, on cleaning the carburetor and cleaning that little screen out in there and that's the same on chainsaws as well all right thanks for watching